Allison, now to a developing story in Chevy Chase, where water is finally back on for everyone after last night's massive water main break. It sent water shooting as high as 80 feet in the air and forced restrictions for more than a million people. News Chopper 7 is flying over the scene right now on Connecticut Avenue, right at the intersection with Chevy Chase Lake Drive. ABC 7's Marilyn Bureau Chief Brad Bell is there with the very latest on the repairs. Brad. Well, Candace, tonight the crews are quite literally plugging away at the repairs. There was a setback just a little while ago. There's another water main, much smaller, that runs nearby. It sprung a leak, and we had a small geyser, but they have patched that. You can see that now they're back to what they're doing here. The problem has been water, a lot of water. But tonight, I want you to see what the new problem is. Take a look back here at Connecticut Avenue northbound. They've got one lane, and it is slow going. As water main breaks go, this is a big one. The geyser it made, impressive. It roared to the tops of trees for nearly five hours until more than 60 million gallons of water had been lost. I heard that big explosion and uh, I came out and the water was just up to the fifth uh, floor. But it was scary. I mean, I was watching it for uh, for an hour and then I got scared. I was like, okay, I better, better get home. Today, Dr. Youssef Obeid came back to find a mess in front of his dental practice and more importantly to him, that there was no water in his building. We're out of business. We can't drill without water. The 54 inch diameter concrete main broke last night at about eight. It is the sort of pipe installed in the 80s that has been a problem for the WSSC for years. Engineers blame premature corrosion for the break. Fortunately, this time, very few homes have lost water pressure. Even so, mandatory water restrictions are in place across all of Montgomery and Prince George's County because of the loss of so much stored water. And essentially, we were asking folks to take shorter shots hours. Don't let the uh, water run while you're, you're, you're brushing your teeth. Repairs could take days to complete and other utilities have been affected because a tree fell on power lines and an underground gas pipe runs near the water main. Connecticut Avenue northbound traffic will be affected for the duration. At the T.W. Perry Lumberyard, that means a hit to the bottom line. It's truly affecting the day, making it a much slower day than normal. Well, the good news tonight is that we're told that all WSSC customers have water. Water supply has been restored. It's not inconceivable that there will be some outages as they as they make these repairs. The bad news is these repairs aren't going to happen overnight. It could take as many as three to four days. And Chevy Chase, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News. And Brad, one more note about the water main break. It prompted mandatory water restrictions for all WSSC customers, and that includes shortening showers and limiting toilet flushing. Customers should also delay washing clothes for now and only run the dishwasher when full. The restrictions are to allow the system to recover from the 60 million gallons spilled.